Okay, Rishabh. So welcome on Unipedia platform, and uh, thank you very much for sparing your time, Rishabh. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for calling me here. Yes, actually, it's a great pleasure for me and entire Europedia team that our students are working at very good position. They are working as a officer in HPCL, so it's a great honor and pleasure for us, Rishabh. So yes, sir. Uh, actually, it was uh, Europedia's contribution also in this. So thank you, Europedia, for contributing okay. such a um, helping to HPCL. Okay, Rishabh. So, Rishabh, uh, you know, look, this time uh, last year you cracked this particular examination and uh, you got posting in Mangalore. You are working as an officer in HPCL. Uh, in two two zero two one only you cracked this particular exam. This year also yes, they declared some vacancies. Uh, huge vacancies they declared in mechanical yes, and other uh, engineering domains. You know, lots of students are having uh, very much curiosity to know like how they can prepare for this exam. And like you, I, I can recall last year you got some selection in IIT also. And we discuss in much detail. Uh, you are having some confusion whether to enter into IIT or not, whether to prepare for PSUs. And finally, I think because we take that, we, we took that decision because you passed out in year two zero two only. Two zero two one, yes. Sir. Yes, yes. So two zero two one only you passed, and uh, based on that, we think yes, it is good to again, you know, if you want to enter into the PSU, there is nothing you are going to lose. It is not like that. From last four five years, you are preparing it, you are not getting. So you uh, took that decision, and uh, finally you uh, in next three months you cracked this particular exam. So this year also lots of students are getting some uh, you know admissions in IIT. Uh, uh, some getting M Tech, some getting MS, some getting PhD. Okay, and some are not getting any admission. They cracked the examination. Some have not cracked even that gate examination. So what do you feel? What is the difficulty level of this examination? Uh, like up to what level they need to prepare, and what strategy actually you opted? Okay, so uh, all those kind of you know kind of uh, guidance suggestions which you can provide to your juniors or your fellow uh, friends. So please uh, go ahead, uh, Rishab. And before that, okay, let me let me uh, before uh, that uh, let me ask you to introduce yourself, Rishab. Uh, just brief introduction from your side, from which region area you belong, and how actually you uh, came to this preparation. Okay, uh, entire your brief journey about uh, this uh, you know uh, uh, before reaching to this HPCL. Okay. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Rishabh Anand. I am from Patna, Bihar. Uh, I have completed my graduation in 2021 um, uh, in, from Mechanical Engineering Department. I gave gate examination in 2021. Uh, I got around 70 marks and uh, some 1200 rank. So from that, uh, I got IIT Madras. Uh, I took admission in IIT Madras for M Tech. Just uh, uh, after discussing with you. You all you said that it is better to have a backup as IIT Madras. It is a good college, so I took that. But uh, along with that, after I gave the gate examination, I was means I wanted to go into PSU, but I didn't have any rank to go into PSU. So I was very sad after that. But suddenly HPCL came with such huge notification like this. That year also they came with huge notification. So means I was really happy that uh, such big not notification without gate examination. So I have one more chance. So I prepared for that uh, HPCL examination, and right now I am posted in Mangalore as an operations officer in uh, MLIF, Mangalore LPG Import Facility. Great. So, Rishab, how like in that very short duration, three four months, because the gate exam pattern and the HPCL exam pattern is totally different. Okay. So, what do you feel? How and from where the students need to prepare? What source uh, resource they can refer to preparing for e, uh, HPCL? so uh, sir examinations are very different but the syllabus is same mm -hmm. so if, if there are two categories if one guy has prepared for gate examination sincerely and there is one category who has not prepared for gate examination yes. so the one guy who has prepared for gate examination mm -hmm. as i had prepared for gate examination so for him only the because the questions which come in hpcl they are not of difficult level because you have to solve 170 questions yes yes In a duration of two to two and a half hours, so uh, it is uh, questions are really easy, but uh, you have to maintain that accuracy because cutoff goes very high. Out of one seventy for general category, one forty eight was the cutoff. So cutoff was really high. No one was expecting such high cutoff, mm -hmm. but uh, since the questions were easy, it was mm, cutoff went so high. 
so basically you, what you have to do is that you have to revise all the formulas because the uh, formula based questions mostly will be there theoretical questions will be there so for that short notes if you you have prepared short note you can revise through them no deep questions will be asked only surface level questions will be asked because such high number questions they cannot they cannot ask deep questions yes so, yes so uh, revise the formulas uh, revise the concepts basic concepts you should have the idea and practice uh, any test uh, you can have uh, i actually i gave 10 15 tests of pcl examination um, from different sources there were so from that uh, basically the more you practice the formula based questions you practice more the more you, you revise just the yes. formulas you should yes. remember all the formulas because questions will be like that you put the data in the formula you'll get the answer mm -hmm. and same with the aptitude also aptitude part was also not very tough uh, if you have any source from which you can prepare for, uh, for for aptitude it will be good i also prepared for aptitude from different sources actually i had my sister's book also for aptitude i prepared okay. that also mm. and i didn't want to leave any stone unturned so i i did these things and the guy who hasn't prepared for gate examination he means it will be difficult for him to for th at least he should have some basic concept what is there because yeah. questions will not be deep as i said so you just revise the formulas and give a, the test related means that kind of test mm. not gate level test you should not give gate level test because yes. it will be not helpful so mm -hmm. this is the way I means revise the formulas revise the basic concepts and you'll be there mm -hmm. a uh, very good important point we are getting uh, through this uh, discussion rishabh it is not just about you know reading theory just about reading theory it is more about practicing it's more about yes. practice more and more question great so you took it, i th i think you left the iit madras na, and then you solely uh, focused on preparing for hpcl that was also the great and very uh -huh. you know uh -huh. tough decision actually you you have taken yes Mm. it was a tough decision sir actually i continued with it madras because it was an online semester mm. uh so miss i should i did the classes and simultaneously prepared it but my focus was only hpcl only not one. it madras so mm. it was kind of i left it madras from my mind but i was enrolled in it this time also when i discuss with student i tell them like uh, because initially for one year like one year it is not like that that is even if you are preparing for some uh, competitive examination that is not going to affect much uh, your placements or any other you know preparation for the mtech i think initially six six months or one year you can uh, again prepare you can uh, if you are having that much desire if you are getting to the psu you can spare that much time Uh, giving priority to your PSU and then secondary you can uh, at, at the same time you can meet all those requirements of MTech also. But yes, if you are getting into PSU, it's fine. Otherwise, from next year, second year, you need to focus on the uh, getting the placement. You need to learn some kind of software so that you will be able to ensure some very good place placements. Because in MTech also placements are good, but one needs to you know meet those kind of requirements. It's just your mindset. Yes. If you don't. don't. Don't want means if M Tech me chale gaye or you want PSU you are craving for PSU then it will be difficult to get there also and here also so yes. it is better you choose means decide one decide one what you have to do give some deadline that till this time if I get there it is okay otherwise yes. I will be able means ship करने के लिए ready हूँ it should be like this and some kind of prioritization is required this is my priority one this is priority two this is priority three then I think it will be easy to manage those things definitely definitely. so uh, i'm getting some idea about your strategy how you prepared how you prepared technical part and non technical part you practiced enough you appeared for more than i think 10 uh, 11 uh, full mocks full uh, length test okay so on those uh, things you prepared let me ask you one more thing rishab what are the what do you feel what are the important subjects key focused areas to prepare for hpcl uh, if you will analyze the previous year paper you know they asked much question from the fluid mechanics thermodynamics this kind of technical question and technical level of difficulty is very less okay direct question actually they are asking okay so uh, yes. anything if you want to add like the about the pattern of examination like any kind of notes if you have prepared uh, related to the priority of those subjects or like uh, you completed the entire syllabus uh, uh, sir for my case actually i studied from uh, i didn't prepare short notes i had means had this confusion many people said that you should prepare short notes but i never prepared short notes i tried two three times 
but i couldn't so there was a formula book uh, uh, comes formula books from that i prepared each subject uh, mostly I, every subject i completed because i had completed the subject mm -hmm. so just revise the formula mm -hmm. so so uh, basic basic subjects which are the thermodynamics strength of material uh, fluid mechanics this should be clear because most questions i think come from this only the application subjects uh, are less weighted but uh, you don't know the pattern that they increase the weightage of these subjects so you should be thorough with every basic you have to cover the formulas so you ha either have short notes or those uh, means uh, formula books either is good means whatever you are comfortable in if you have prepared short notes go for that if you don't have then go for the formula book because only that is required mm -hmm. and uh, about weightage uh, so, uh, we don't know <laughs> if this year it changes so you should uh, prepare ba basically all the yeah, subject that's, that's what right. i feel yes yes mm -hmm. Uh, Rishab, um, you know, uh, your PDI to your PDI, we provide some kind of snap mock facility, snap mocks and full mocks. And I can recall you also, you appeared for so many snaps and full mocks. So what, what do you feel? Even, uh, even uh, before getting into the HPCL, before that for MTech also, I think you appeared for so many snaps. And one thing I can say, it is not like that, you know, uh, you are having interest in PSUs, whatever you are having, like whatever you are having this time in your hand, for that you need to put your sincere efforts. Like for MTech also, you 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 put uh, sincere efforts and you go to uh, IIT Madras. Then after that, you go to HPCL opportunity and then you shifted your mind uh, towards that HPCL and you focused entirely on HPCL. So it, it is like putting your giving your hundred percent and hundred percent. I can say ki you appeared in so many snaps and you put hundred percent efforts in those kind of snaps. So what do you feel? How those kind of snap mocks and full mock uh, facilities? How they can help students uh, in refining their concepts? preparing for uh, some kind of PSUs interviews and uh, other things. But definitely those snaps, I can recall how many snaps I went through. Uh, even I, I used to come daily. So sometimes <laughs> you said that and come after some time yes, to revise yes, those things. Yes. So many snaps I went through and many known concepts are there which we think that we know but we get to know in those snaps the, the review which you provide the full mocks which we go through everything is means i was very benefited and, uh, as i said uh, means, uh, if snaps even group tasks also you uh, i many group tasks i went through so everything was very helpful and I, I think everyone should go for those snaps because you think that you know but many things are there which you don't know and you get to know through those uh, and the basic hr snaps also interview mostly in hpcl for most people it is hr but there are some people who they pick and they ask whole complete technical, technical yes, yes. Interviews. in my day also there was one guy who, whose whole interview went technical so you don't know if you are that guy or if you are yes. other so you should prepare everything snaps are really really helpful uh, Rishabh, I am having one document I downloaded from uh, the website only, uh, Google, uh, that I am going to share with you. I discussed with you also, like st some students are having some, you know, queries related to the medical standard. Okay, they are having some low vision problem, some are having some kind of color blindness. So I am going to sh uh, just show you that document, just you need to confirm, ki, is it uh, the right document to refer or not? Okay, so let me show you that document. So this document we are having on uh, Google also Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited pre-employment medical standard examination. So they mentioned some some things like the height and weight. Uh, okay, chronic disease nahi hona chahiye koi is tarah ka cardiovascular system hai, respiratory system hai. So what do you feel? This is a, this is a same document or pre-medical uh, standards required for officer also, or these are not for the officers? Because I'm not very sure because they have not mentioned at the top okay, this document is for the officer officers or uh, some kind of you know uh, 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 operation staff or any other uh, person it is not showing on my screen have you shared this to me okay just just a second just a second is it now visible Rishab? no sir not not visible but sir about uh, the color blindness thing there there is a test on google you can search on google color blindness test 
there will be some patterns will be there you can check there only thing which means in my day there was no such problem even one guy fainted also but there was no such problem he was also selected but the color blindness i have heard that it causes some problem if you have color blindness except that i everything is means no such problem I, is there I think whatever that, i heard of uh, arishab you are not visible ha huh. i think i think in that case it is good to send them email like if you are having uh, any doubt query related to the medical standard i think then in that case student can send them email they can confirm ah. yes i am having this much you know uh, medical issue and uh, i am eligible I to get into the uh, this particular post or not and then it you can it's better. Uh, mm. better because i haven't heard anyone who has been rejected due to medical okay in my batch so means i so, think uh, color blindness or all those things are not a kind of issue for this officer position right or uh, otherwise it is good to confirm <clears throat> hello okay Uh, Rishab, uh, before going to end uh, this session, uh, uh, let me ask you once again. It's a similar kind of question only. So, what do you need to, what do you want to suggest to your friends? Like uh, on which particular, you know, uh, area is clear. They need to prepare uh, for HPCL. Clearly, they defined the syllabus, so everything is clear. Sources also you mentioned, like, uh, and it's a very good thing. If you are earlier clear gate, your fundamental are good. If you feel. then you need to focus on practicing more and more questions also uh, for aptitude technical you can you are there are sufficient online resources available at various platforms you can go to those and you can practice more and more question but yes if someone ha- not having that much you know technical fundamental understanding then yes he needs to first focus on getting the fundamental idea about the subjects and then uh, needs to focus on practicing more and more questions what do you feel what, 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 what about the you know life at hpcl how you are enjoying working at hpcl and what kind of you know other than packages packages is very great actually good in hpcl what are the other facilities are there in hpcl so that student will get the motivation to prepare for hpcl well, uh, actually you don't know where you will be posted and it is based on judge you they clearly judge you and they give you your location your work according to your personality i don't know how they do this but uh, they do this very well so about my work uh, uh, i think uh, the hpcl is such a big organization that uh, the learning never stops here uh, if you see uh, my my location has so many departments so even if i am posted in one department but i can ask the seniors of other department so learning process is very good here and about work culture also is it is good it is very good work culture and i am enjoying a life at hpcl right now posted although i am posted very distant from my home around 2000 kilometers from my home but uh, it is good and i i am means i have talked to my friends also they are also liking me so uh, it is good you should go for hpcl <laughs> there is no doubt about it yes okay Okay, Rishab. So thank you very much. Thanks again for sparing your uh, time, and uh, I want to wish you and may God bless you with the power, patience, and uh, good health, Rishab. So thank you very much for uh, thank joining. Thank you, sir. Today. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.